My name is Raphael Meshulam. I'm a professor at the Hebrew University. Uh, I've been there for many years. I've, I'm doing research on the chemistry and biology of natural products, mostly, but also of some drugs. There is no drug that ha doesn't have side effects. It just doesn't exist. Uh, the same is probably true for cannabis. Now, being a chemist, I was uh, particularly interested uh, in the individual constituents of the plant. Surprisingly, uh, the constituents of the cannabis plant uh, were not uh, well known when we started work many years ago, several decades ago. Uh, the, the active the psychoactive component of cannabis was not known at that time, surprisingly again, because morphine had been isolated from opium uh, almost 150 years before that, and cocaine about 100 years before that, and yet the active component of cannabis had never been isolated in pure form. So uh, my colleague Oni and I went ahead doing that, and uh, uh, we published uh, uh, the, the compound, reported isolation of the active compound of cannabis, 1964, proved it, uh, elucidated its structure, and a little bit later also synthesized it, so it became available for uh, uh, research. Now, scientists like to work with a specified compound, not just with a mixture, because otherwise they, uh, n uh, it is very difficult to reproduce their results, and indeed, after 1964, there was a uh, there was a lot of work on THC and some of the other constituents, which uh, we also isolated and uh, uh, elucidated their structures. And for the next 20 years, there was a lot of work on these compounds. And much of the things that we know about uh, these compounds, the activity of these compounds, was done at that time. One thing was not known for 20 years. Uh, uh, almost 20 years, and that was the mechanism of uh, THC action, surprisingly so. Uh, people thought that maybe it has some kind of a unspecified activity, acts on a membrane or something. Well, it turned out to be a mistake, actually. Uh, Alan Howlett, a um, uh, young uh, professor at that time of uh, uh, pharmacology at St. Louis, found that there is a uh, receptor, which was co later called CB1, and then person in England uh, identified a second receptor known as CB2, mostly uh, in the periphery, but uh, then at some point it also pops up in the brain, especially in neurological diseases. So now we are sure of two receptors that are present, and THC acts uh, on them and stimulates them and causes the activity when needed. Now, uh, receptors are not... Uh, present in the body, because there is a plant outside there, they are present in the body in order to be activated uh, by something that our body produces, uh, when and where needed. So uh, uh, we went ahead looking for the compounds in the brain and the periphery that uh, uh, would activate these receptors, and in 1992 and 1995 we uh, reported the most important ones, one of them we call the Nandamite. The Nanda comes from the Sanskrit name of uh, uh, Supreme Joy. And we were happy after working so hard uh, for identifying a compound, which has a, uh, turned out to have a different chemical structure uh, from the compound in the plant. Rather strange, I would say, because the two compounds do the, exactly the same. And, there was, uh, and these compounds, which we identified in the brain and in the periphery, the derivatives of uh, fatty acid. And these compounds uh, uh, are very important because the receptors are found in uh, large amounts, uh, high concentrations in the brain, in the periphery. These compounds are extremely important. They act in a huge number of physiological con conditions. They interact with other neurotransmitters. They interact with uh, 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 in other systems as well, so they are uh, important players in our body. So there has been a huge amount of work on these two compounds, anandamide, another one we isolated, the 2-AG, and so today we know quite a lot about the mechanism and how they 
um, what they do and uh, therefore we can also learn a lot about uh, the ability of uh, plant cannabinoids like THC or synthetic cannabinoids that can act on this system, activate it or uh, uh, block it or change the metabolism of compounds and act on it. So uh, it is quite promising and chances are that we shall have drugs. We already have minor drugs, but I think that we shall have major drugs in the future that uh, act through this uh, particular system.